Okay, another thing we're going to be doing is I purchased some of these 450 volt amp uh, battery backup UPSs from uh, CyberPower. And what I'm going to do, we talked about battery backup and uh, different ways to do it. It's a, it can get really expensive doing it on a large number of printers. But what I'm going to try to do is determine um, whether or not it can be cost effective. And the way I'm going to do that is take this unit, it tells you to charge it up. I've got a couple of them. I've got a couple over there that are already charged up. And then what I'm going to do is preheat six of these printers. And once I get six of these printers preheated, uh, if you watch some of the earlier videos, when we first fire up six printers and they're preheating, they uh, will draw a little bit over 10 amps. However, once they're preheated, just maintaining the bed and nozzle temperature, um, we're looking at uh, probably about two amps. So, if I plug those printers into one of these UPSs, and according to the specs and everything, it should run about four or five minutes if the current draw is down around one or two amps. And uh, if I plug them into this, and we have a power fluctuation, the power, just the lights flicker off, because what happens, a lot of our power outages here are less than one minute. Um, it's usually just a fluctuation during a storm or something. And if that's the case, and these printers are running to where they're drawing that minimum amperage, then this power supply, this UPS, should be able to keep those printers going for that one or two minutes until the power comes back up. So we aren't trying to run the printers off of it. We're just trying to make up for those little things. So if this works, and especially if it can handle six printers and keep them going for over a minute, then that would uh, pretty much take care of about 90% of the power problems that we have in this area because they are normally just short fluctuations or, uh, in power. And uh, if you can keep these printers running, that's a lot better than having them stop and uh, let that bed start cooling down and waiting for the power to come back on then having to come back and uh, restart them. So that's what these things are for. And we'll be testing that out and I'll post a video on that and let you know how many of these printers and for how long one of these little guys will uh, take care of it. And I'll also let you know what the price is on this. Um, okay, today it's going to be a test of this UPS 450 VA to see just how uh, many printers it can hold online. I'm powering up all of these printers now. <clears throat> and I'm going to preheat them.
Okay. I think we're pushing the threshold of this UPS. Um, what we're doing, we have all six printers running. All six have the beds preheated, and these four are have these two have the uh, head preheated. These two are still preheating the head, and you can hear this UPS alarming every once in a while. The reason for that is if you watch the current over here, our current's varying from about two and a half amps up to about five or six amps. And every once in a while, it will even go higher than that six or seven amps. Um, the reason for that is that even though our printers have stabilized in their current drawing, because they are preheated, we still have this UPS uh, drawing power charging, uh, keeping the battery charge up. Uh, I believe the reason it's alarming is because we are exceeding the amount of current that it would be able to handle if, um, if we lost power. But I'm going to go ahead and push it to the limit. And... Um, power up the preheat the heads on these two so right now we have all six printers online with this one UPS uh, 450 VA and they are all preheated and maintaining both head and bed temperatures now, as soon as the bottom two printers um, reach full preheat on the head, I'm going to disconnect power from this UPS and see how long uh, these printers will be able to continue to run just solely off of the UPS, even though I'm pretty sure now that it's not at a full charge. But... We just want to see if it can handle it. It looks like we're getting close to being preheated. Well, I guess that answered the question. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Got our stopwatch set to zero. We have both of these printers powered up. Now we're going to start preheating. We're preheating printer one. And both of these printers are getting power from this 450 VA um, cyber power UPS. Okay, number one looks like it's preheating good. Now we're going to go over here. Preheat number two. Okay, the UPS is giving us an indication that our current draw is um, on the high side for the UPS. In other words, it can handle the preheating of one printer, but it looks like two printers may be a little too much for it. So we'll stop number two from preheating and we'll let number one printer finish preheating okay it looks like number one is uh, preheated okay now we'll go over here and start preheating the bed on number two
it looks like in the preheating mode two printers is drawing um, more current than the UPS is designed to sustain when it's in backup mode and that's what that beeping sound is warning of us of. Of course once these printers are preheated and operating they aren't going to be drawing as much current and at that point we'll be able to test and see if the UPS how beneficial it will be to connect two printers to it uh, while they're in operation mode or printing Okay, it looks like everything's at temperature. So let's get ready to start our timer and pull the plug. Go. Both printers still running, maintaining temperatures. Okay, we had about 26 or 27 seconds there. Okay, so one UPS will handle two printers at full temperature. for about 26 seconds. Preheated, 26 seconds. However, one printer on this same UPS will last nine minutes and 40 seconds fully preheated. So, uh, if we're going to run more than one printer, we're going to need something a little more powerful than 450. Probably have to go to about 650 VA. So, um, I'll be trying some other UPSs because I can't afford to have one of these UPSs for every single printer in here. Um, so we'll figure out something because we ought to be able to at least get uh, three or four printers off of one UPS.